This is going to show you concept maps and how to actually construct them. They're a little bit different than what you may think of what a concept actually is. Concept maps, awesome tool to really demonstrate your knowledge of a subject. And it'll also help you make the connections you need to, because the more connections you make with the material instead of just kind of rote memorization, the more you understand it. And with the weather, that's what you actually need to do, is to really understand the concepts that are involved and how to make those connections across. I really like them because, well, and this PowerPoint is the one that's off of Blackboard, so you can go through and read it more carefully. But I really like these things because they demonstrate your knowledge so deeply, and you can't cheat on them. It's not like you go to the internet and you make this copy of it and you bring it back. I mean, you have to create this map with the words that I give you and show me how you understand the material. And everybody's concept map will be differently because everyone thinks differently. So that's the other thing I like about it. And here's a good example on the PowerPoint where it shows the two different um, exact same words used, two different formats to do it. Both are correct, it's just one will give you more points than the other. So somebody's, in this case, thinking of it differently, think about these are two separate people, even though they're both mine. But each person had their own thought process on how it was actually going to, to happen. So. Again, both are correct, it's just a different way of setting it up. The bottom one is better because it's more um, set up in a tiered format where you've got the main topic and then you've got the secondary topics going down from basically generic to specific. So it works out really, really well. And the way I grade these is each level that you have, the level that makes sense, is worth five points. So basically if you just, and I'll see this a lot, and especially in the beginning when you're trying to learn, it'll happen to somebody where they'll will start top and they'll basically have this line going down and they'll look like they have like five or six tiers but they don't make any sense so your tiers have to make sense and be set up correctly you can't just have the streaming line down and expect to get all these points from it and it'll make more sense when you start to to create one but each level is worth five points um, each linking word what I call LW linking word which is connects bubble to bubble is worth one point and for the connections from bubble to bubble is how you look at it. So you're looking at this one, seasons to solstice, that's what you're describing. There's no reading down like a sentence, meaning that you're not going to have um, five of these in a row and you're going to have some sentence where it goes, seasons is this, is that, it, it doesn't work that way. So each bubble to bubble is its own thought. So then going from solstice to winter, it's its own thought. Winter to su southern hemisphere, its own thought. So keep that in mind of keeping these things together. It doesn't have to be a perfect sentence, but it has to be some type of phrase that would make sense with the two words that are involved. So you don't have to start and end with these, but it has to be a complete thought between the two. So you don't get any points for saying this is that, or it was and used, and just you know basically one words don't get you any points. Cross links is where you get five points. Five points meaning your connection has to be really, really good. Please excuse the background there. Um, so the connections have to be really, really strong. And you have to connect one side of the map to the other. So like in this case, revolution goes all the way to Earth. Um, Earth goes all the way over to Tilt. And if your linking word and your cross link are the same, it doesn't count. And even if your linking word and your linking word is the same, you only get counted one time. So keep that in mind. Cross links are where you really show your deep understanding of the material. When you can take one side of the map and link it to the other, then it really shows that you really, really understand what's going on. I'm going to flip down to some practice ones. I'm always going to give you the bubble words. And, well, most most of the time give you the one that the top word, too, so that we don't have to really go crazy and try to think, well, which one's better? I can tell you which one's the best one to use, and then you can fill in it. So if I give you the bubble words, you have to use all the words or you lose points. In this case, the one I'm showing you is just a practice one. It's about you know, obviously, fast food joints. So the top is fast food, and then I, and this is only one way, obviously there's a couple different ways you can go about this one. In this case, I broke it up between chicken, burger, and Mexican places, and then listed the places that are chicken, listed the places that are burger, and which ones are the more, you know, Mexican type foods. And obviously, McDonald's serves chicken, and obviously, um, KFC serves some other types of Christmas. They're mostly chicken, let's face it. 
but you can see how you can interlink the two of these. I mean, Burger King and Wendy's both do chicken as well. So that's how you can get those cross links. Now, your job for the very first concept map is to make up your own, and you can't use fast food because obviously I just used it, but you can do uh, shoes and clothes and school districts, how they're set up, you know, uh, any anything you can think of really you can turn into a, a concept map where you have the top thing like sports and then break it down into the different types of sports going down to individual people involved or you know something like th something like that so you can think of however basically do what you know really really well and that'll be the easiest one and that'll give you a good idea of how to set it up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna submit that first one and you have a couple of ways of doing it you can get fancy if you have inspiration software. You don't need it. You can do it by hand, like like this one's done by hand, and all it was all I did was scan it into the computer as a you know a JPEG image. That's could be the that's probably your best way of doing it, just because you can really get into it. And if you need to erase, and to me it, it's easier. But again, you have your own choices of doing it that way. You can use Microsoft and use Bubbles that way. And that's a little, to me that's a little more time consuming. Unless you really know Word, it's kind of a pain in the the rear end, but your choice. There's also this website called bubble.us. Um, it works really well to look at uh, doing it too. So it's just bubble.us. Hit start brainstorming. It gives you the little bubble. You can go in here and you can type whatever it is is your top thing and then you can make your um, next level on down so that would be your top word this would be your first level you know whatever it is type it in you can also go through and label the line which means you can make the linking words so blah 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 here's my linking word um, and then see there it is um, this is really good if it gets to be too big of a map it, it does get a little bit hard to keep it all on the screen because you know when you, when you save it it has to fit a certain format so you can see all of it but it works really great if, if I was going to do it online like or do it as a typed up one, I always use bubble.us. I think it's real easy to use. It says you have to sign in, but that's only if you want to save it on there. And it's free anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But I don't even have an account on it. I just get on there, do it, hit export to um, to a JPEG file, and then that's how I um, save them whenever I use the ones online. So great website to use. If you need any more help with it, let me know. The first concept map, um, we'll, I'll be real le lenient on. I'll help you give you tips on it, so that way when you do the real one with actual weather information, you'll have a little bit easier time with it.